so now we're gonna have a little look at felt and what you can do with felt. Um, this piece here has been made with white felt that's been dyed and as you can see Ayla has stitched a piece of aluminium rod on the inside of that carefully stitched over so that it gives this kind of impression of veins in a leaf but she's also created the veins in a leaf impression through the way she's dyed it so she's dyed it first she's cut holes and then she's done the most detailed stitching around the edges um, of her shapes which she probably found online she probably did a lot of looking online you will have to google you will have to youtube to get ideas for this i can't do long detailed demonstrations on absolutely everything different types of stitches look at that okay um you can also see felt here that's been shaped dyed shaped and stitched into and then shapes that have been stitched around the edge um felt which has been dyed and then had embellishments put on the top so this is just somebody thinking to themselves okay i've got a, a, um, a felt cone and what I'm going to do is cut little pieces of coloured tissue in different shades of blue and stick them on top. This person I remember was looking at mosaics a few years ago and you can see it has that mosaic -y kind of look to it. And then tiny little painted details as well on top. This one here has been done by dyeing the felt and then um, moulding it. Okay, so I'm very quickly going to show you the idea behind that. A cardboard tube with some cling film on top because obviously felt if you put glue on it will just stick good to cardboard by itself and this is just cardboard so you need to give it a little barrier uh, cling film okay and then she's laid the the white felt over the top of that um, and then she's she's dyed it you can see it's got the shape of the tube now I'm doing this one-handed at the moment because that's just the way it is okay there we go so you can see she's put the white felt over and what she did first was she sprayed it with water i've got a water spray here it says water on it so she's sprayed it first of all to soak it then she's dyed her ink she's put her ink through it and then what she did after that was she used the pva spray over the top like this soaking it and then making sure she's squashing it down and then she leaves it overnight and when she comes back the next day and cuts up here with a knife because I think she wrapped it all the way around. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, yeah, um, it comes apart like that. And then all she has to do then is get her scissors and cut some strips. So she ends up with little rings and then she's overlapped them um, in different ways to create big rings through to small rings. So she made these kind of little horn shapes. That's how these were made, obviously on a wire structure. Okay, so you can use the PVA spray to give the felt some form and some structure. This has obviously been done on this tube, or a, um, and I've got all sorts of tubes, lots of sizes of tubes at the back of the room there. So you can make different sorts of, um, you know, diameters of tube or whatever. But you could also use other things as a mould. This is my box that says moulds on it. And, you know, there's bits of wood in here. There's different things. You could perhaps use something like this as a structure if you need to have something more cubey. Um, you could use things that are more round. Just depends what you want to try and create, you know. Um, little chocolate or biscuit boxes, they're quite good for moulding things on. You know, if you soak your, your felt and really push it into these shapes and then spray it with the PVA spray, when it dries, you should be able to pop that off and it will have a little impression of this circle if that's the kind of thing that you want to make. Okay, so that's using the felt. So I'm going to take some white felt and dye it just to show you how nice and easy it is. I have this box here that says white felt on the side of it. <laughs> ah, you can see how youtubers get it right because it's all in the preparation eh and also having spare hands and not having your your stand with you that's a problem anyway in my white felt tub i've got this white felt here i'm just going to chop a little piece now for samples you you can just make like a flat square or rectangle just to show the type of thing that you're thinking of making so it's just like a little sample of it yeah i mean that's not very good. I'll probably make it a little bit more even than that. Um, but this is just to show you a very quick method of creating something which is the beginnings. Yeah, it's like the starting point 
once you've had a go with this the first time, hopefully little things should fire off in your mind. Oh, I could do this, I could do that, you know? Okay, always work on a piece of plastic. Underneath my worktop here, I've got a green box with plastic sheets in it. That's where you get your piece of plastic to work on top of, and then you can just lift it and put it directly on the drying rack when you're done. So that's my piece of plastic. Another little tip, a piece of masking tape. Ugh. Here's masking tape, tear it off, stick it down with your name. Mrs. G, your name, okay, on there, so that we know when we find it on the rack who it belongs to. Okay, felt down on here, soak it with water. It's now beautifully soaked with water and then what you can do little cups to put the ink in there's my little cups there there's my ink here please take very tiny amounts of the ink okay we do not have a million pounds to spend 800 pounds a week on face masks at the moment mm -hmm. i don't think they're going to be giving me much more money for ink okay so nice wet brush got my water my brush dip it in and see what happens. Woo! Okay, now this all depends on what you need to do, okay? Don't just randomly throw green down. Look at what your visual aesthetic is. What is it? Are you creating something which looks like butterfly wings? Are you creating something that looks like, um, I don't know, fossils or, I don't know. You, you have to look at your aesthetic and you have to just decide what is gonna work. OK, I am showing you this because this is just one way of adding ink onto a piece of felt. And then you can then, you know, develop that. Look at the way the ink's been done here. These people have just put a lot of water and a lot of ink down. Right. So what you could do if you don't want it all speckly, because mine's all speckly because I thought it looked quite pretty. It's more water. Wash it in. Allow the colours to bleed. Okay, nice. Um, and then, you know, take it where you need to take it. And then when you're ready, leave it to dry. And then next time you're in, that will be dry like that. And then what could you do next? Could you cut it out beautifully around the edge? I don't know. I'm thinking, imagine this was like a leaf inspired thing or uh, gemstones, green sparkly gemstones or something. I'm not sure. But you could cut it out around the edge. And then what could you do? You could take a needle and thread and you could stitch somehow into it. Um, and you could, you know, look online for, for stitching, but I can help you with that as well. And this could be a little sample which shows, yeah, I could actually use that for what I'm going to make. Um, you could cut out tiny little bits of tissue paper. There's the tissue paper under there. I've got more too. And you could sit, sit it inside, somehow sit patterns and textures inside there. Um, or what about if you were to go over to my little corner over here and see what I've got. Maybe there's some things that could be sat inside there with some glue, little pulses or something. Maybe if these were painted or decorated. Um, what about sweetie wrappers? Maybe with PVA inside and, and attached into your felt somehow. You know, it, it really is limitless, the, the sort of things that you could do. What if you were to slice up these little these little straws like cut them as if they were a loaf of bread but what I mean all the way up like that and have tiny little circles of plastic like plastic rings sat inside maybe it's relevant for you you just have to decide what is relevant for you okay it's all possible it's all there you just have to use your imagination really okay so there you go there's a little bit of working with felt I can't think of anything else I want to say right now although as soon as I click stop I'm sure I will so moving on from the felt, um, this is another type of material that you could use. It's called modelling muslin. Muslin is just a very fine meshed fabric. Here it is here. Uh, we've got a packet of it here. Obviously, if you remove it, take a little piece. Be careful, put it back neatly. Don't make a mess of it. Okay, so that's the modelling muslin. This is what it looks like flat. And what you can do with modelling muslin is you can create form and structure using a mold again and this is nice and easy 
Um, you just need to literally soak it with water. You don't even need to use the PVA spray because it's already impregnated with a stiffening agent, which means when you make it soaking wet, it will hold the form of the thing that you are using as a mold. But you need to leave it overnight. It can take quite a long time. Um, this is one that I did that was on an Easter egg mold. So I think it's, yeah, something like this. And I put my fabric over the top and then dropped some ink in it to sort of dye it and then sprayed it with water and left it. And she's dropped it. Yeah, my second job. I'm not doing very well at it at the moment. Anyway, it's all just for information, nothing else, no. Okay, so that's obviously not the right Easter egg mold, right? Okay, however, never mind. Um, and this is a piece that I just, it's just literally a strip that I then gathered up into like a rosette. I soaked it with the water and then kind of tried to fold it, fold it, gather it up, squidge it together, and then I left it overnight. I think I had to paper clip it for it to keep its form. You can see I've kind of overlapped it. Paper clipped it to keep its form, uh, and while it was still wet, I, I sort of dropped a little bit of ink around the edges, let it bleed, and then put it on the radiator, and the next day it was like that. Okay? Um, this is just a chocolate box. So, very easy to combine, especially in my house. So there it is there. I did it like this over there. Okay? So it's a straightforward, simple process of putting it, I'll just do a little bit in front of you, but I'm one-handed right now, so let's see how we go. The elbow. Okay, so I just put it over my mould like this and just got the water and just completely soaked it to make it really wet. Okay, and then I just kind of did this, pushed it down. You have to have patience. You can't just expect it to flop into place and it's going to be beautiful. You have to, and obviously if I had two hands right now, it's a bit easier, just push it down like that. Soak it, maybe mess around with a bit of ink. I don't know, it's possible. But obviously you need to be prepared for the fact it's going to really spill out, but maybe that's what you would like. Depend I mean, this would be great for something like octopus suckers, wouldn't it? If you did it beautifully okay and then leave that to dry poke it down the best you can and the next day you'll have something like this so perhaps that's something you could have a go with and then who's to say what you do next you could stitch it when it's dry you could cut into it you could layer things into it you know on you go